Okay, this is part two, a kind of demonstration video to show, in fact, that this does sort of work or is capable of working. Again, somebody with a better knowledge of electronics uh, and devices uh, will probably be able to get this up and running, I would imagine, with a little, little problem. Anyway, uh, in a nutshell, again, this is connected through a little MIDI port to a Macintosh computer where I got GarageBand. And, uh, again, it's kind of glitchy. It does work. Uh, that's why I went out and bought myself one, a, a properly made one. Pretty nice one, actually, because I couldn't get this one up and, and running, but I'd like to get something for this. So, just wanted to give a little video of what it's about. And, uh, here how it, it sort of works. Some of the keys don't work. They do. And, mess with the connection. I don't know if it's the connection or the actual trigger itself that needs to be clean, but... It does a weird thing with the octaves. Once that one time I had it set up and this high C would cut off all the notes and these would all be regular octave from C to B and this would like damp dampen any note that it hit, but depending on the MIDI sound that you had going. So anyway, as you can hear, it sort of works. And uh, I would imagine you need to know something about electronics or know somebody who does in order to get this thing up and running properly. But I know it's doable. I just don't have the patience or the know-how to get it done. Hope this helps, and uh, hope to hear from you if you're interested.